And just in time for beach season, great white sharks are returning to the waters off the Jersey Shore. Mary Lee and Cisco, two sharks that have tracking devices on them, have once again shown up in our region. And our Greg Argos talked with those who track the sharks to find out why they do it. <laughs> and Jess, you can hear the music right now, ready? Right. Da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na, yeah. Actually, we've learned statistically. You're much more likely to drown than get attacked by a great white. And the company tracking these huge creatures say they're incredibly important for our ocean's ecosystem. The unofficial start to summer means many are heading down the shore, taking a dip in the ocean, and like most Americans, being concerned about one particular sea dweller. The one thing that you're most fearful of in the ocean? Oh, man. Sharks. Bitten by a shark, man. Yeah. They take your lungs off. Sharks. <laughs> yeah, definitely got to be sharks. And if you're off the coast of Delaware or New Jersey this weekend, you may be sharing the water with Mary Lee, a 50-year-old great white shark. I definitely try to keep my eye out for them. I've been tracking Mary Lee over four and a half years. Chris Fisher is the founding chairman of O-Search, which tags and tracks great white sharks like Mary Lee. Mary Lee is the size of a minivan. Really? Oh, wow. We need to stay away from the shore. <laughs> and Mary Lee has been joined by Cisco, a smaller male last spotted off the coast of Delaware. It's a good sign that your ecosystem there is in pretty good shape. You know, these are the balance keepers of the ocean. It's important that they're there, but at the same time, it's not important to me <laughs> enough to be in the water with them. Fisher says his team's goal is to track great white sharks' movements and mating patterns. And he reminds people great white attacks are extremely rare about Mary Lee. She's been swimming up and down the beaches for 40 or 50 years, and you don't hear about any interactions of white sharks with people on the East Coast. She's waiting for a chance, I'm telling you. I, I guarantee it. Maybe if you're lucky, you'll get to see Mary Lee's tail while she's swimming away because she's more afraid of you than you are of her. I'm more scared of the shark. If you see the fin, you're out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They got too, their teeth too big. <laughs> Now, in total, the organization is tracking more than 2,000 sharks throughout the world, and the research shows most great whites in the North Atlantic Ocean mate off the Cape Cod coast, but spend their younger years eating fish off of the Jersey and Delaware shore. So this mm. is sort of like their growing up habitat. Sure, they just come for the summer. <laughs> yeah, just relax, you know, <laughs> swim around. But don't worry, they probably won't, probably won't eat you. Probably. Okay, Greg, thanks so much.